here we have three question related to your class 9 mathematics first one is from real number that is the number system second one from polynomial chapter and third one from linear equation in two variable let's see first one if x equals to root 5 plus 1 by root 5 minus 1 and y equals to root 5 minus 1 by root 5 plus 1 find the value of x square plus y square so what we're going to do we'll make it standard form and then we'll go for your x square plus y square so what we have so <clears throat> first one we have x equals to root of 5 plus 1 by root of 5 minus 1 this can be written as root 5 plus 1 by root 5 minus 1 into root 5 plus 1 by root 5 plus 1 why because our target to get a plus b a minus b so this is your a plus b a minus b it will give you a square minus b square a square minus b square and upper one you can see that this is a plus b a plus b that is a plus b whole square so we can write root 5 plus 1 whole square so this can be breaking in a plus b whole square formula that is a square plus 2 a b plus b square and the down one that is root 5 into root 5 will give you 5 1 and here we'll get 5 this will give you 1 and here we have 2 root 5 plus 1 and down 4 we'll see you can see here 6 plus 2 root 5 by 4 and 2 is common so if we take out 2 you can see here we'll get here 3 plus root 5 by 4 and we cancel here we'll get 3 plus root 5 by 2 so this is the process to do it but you don't have to show each and every process here okay no need to show directly you can see here now y equals to how you're going to do right here root 5 minus 1 by root 5 plus 1 now next step you can write root 5 minus 1 whole square by whole square minus p square this one you can do directly no problem next a square plus b square minus 2ab by a minus b that is 6 minus 2 root 5 by 4 and this will give you 3 minus root 5 by 2 see very small step you can see here now what we're going to use this to and our target target is what x square plus y square this is our target so we substitute here 3 plus root 5 by 2 whole square plus 3 minus root 5 by 2 whole square down a plus b whole square that is 9 plus 5 plus 6 root 5 by 4 here we'll get 9 plus 5 minus 6 root 5 by 4 4 4 common so 14 plus 14 we'll get here 14 plus 6 root 5 14 minus 6 root 5 we'll get 28 this two part cancel by 4 7 our answer is this okay next Second one, if fx equals to x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 4, find the value of f of 2 plus f of minus 2 plus f of 0. Very simple. Just we need presentation, nothing else. So very simple, just we'll put the value of x in this one. So we have fx, that is x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 4. Now, f2 plus f minus 2 plus f0 equals to what substitute the value that is 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 4 or you can find separately and then you can solve it okay otherwise it will be quite hectic for you or you can go for this one no problem plus if you know how to solve it this type of hectic problem so q minus 3 into minus 2 whole square plus 3 into minus 2 minus 4 and the next is what we're going to get plus 0 cube minus 3 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 
not plus minus 4 okay solve it here 8 2 to the 4 into 3 minus 12 plus 6 minus 4 minus 8 2 to the 4 minus minus plus minus 12 next minus 6 minus 4 0 0 0 minus 4 so plus 6 minus 6 cancel plus 8 minus 8 cancel so here we are getting minus 12 minus 12 and here minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 will give you minus 12 that means minus 36 this will be your answer okay next or or another way you can go first you find f2 that is 2 q minus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 4 separately find it and then f of minus 2 separately and then you add it it will be easy for you to solve this way and here you may get a step marking if you make a mistake here you will not get marks but if you go in this way if you do correct of this one correct portion if you do here and then in the second part if you do mistake you will get a marks for this one but if you do here you will not get a marks so your choice next the third number what we're going to do first we need to make a linear equation into variable from the given problem and then we need to draw the linear equation let's see so <clears throat> Two friends Sita and Gita together contribute 800 towards Prime Minister Relief Fund. So let Sita's contribution be rupees X and Gita's contribution be rupees Y. Then then equation will be what? X plus Y equals to 800. This is your linear equation. Now we need to make a table for this why because we need to draw the graph for this equation x and y if we'll take 0 we'll get 800 if we'll take uh, uh, 500 or 100 if we'll take here 700 you need more you can take no problem but to get a straight line two point is enough now here we're going to do on the graph paper so rule you need to write the scale see here both the results are in a positive form so that's why we'll use here first coordinate but before doing this graph you need to check that your data are in a positive or not if it is a positive we'll take the first coordinate otherwise we need to take first second third fourth coordinate okay you need to write here with us here scale is compulsory that one centimeter you are taking hundred hundred rupees so we'll write here in rupees okay we should mention here in rupees you need to mention this one okay next 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 and 1000 and this side also you can write here 100 because we have taken here 1 centimeter equals to 100 rupees and for y axis 1 centimeter equals to 100 rupees we need to write here scale is compulsory 200 300 400 500 6 7 8 9 Let's see what points we have. 0, 800. That means this is your 0 for x coordinate 0 and 800. This is your point, first point. We need to use ruler, remember. But here I am uh, ruler and pencil. But I am using your pen. So keep it in mind that you need to use pencil for this graph. Okay, and this portion you can use pen, no problem. Next, 100. 700 x will be 100 and then you need to go 700 
so you are getting not that much uh, comfortable you can draw the graph no problem in that case but if you say that sir i want to mo make more like if i'll take 500 what will the result 300 so let's see here for 500 here x will be 500 and 300 here this is your 300 take a point now uh, we need ruler here so <coughs> let's join the line from the given points so extend it you can go beyond this also no problem take an arrow like this and on this line you need to write the equation that is x plus y equals to 800 sorry rupees is there no need to write rupees just you write this is your equation for the graph uh, equation uh, graph for the equation thank you